Yeah. As a porch pirate who dressed up as a trash bag. Yeah. That's a porch pirate. <laughs> and he just creaked up to the fucking thing and took it. <laughs> he was dressed up as a garbage. Garbage <laughs> bag of garbage tied at the top and everything. And he just slowly moves up the porch, goes over the package, and then the bag goes away and the package is gone. <laughs> Imagine, man. Uh, I could see you doing that, right? Oh, man, imagine catching somebody doing that. Oh, we just kicked the fuck out of him. Poor guy would be beat up in his garage. And the police say, we have no suspects. Like, do you fucking think? How do you put out that bolo? <laughs> <laughs> What's the bolo? Yeah. Be on the lookout. <laughs> what? For a fucking... Be on the lookout would be bolo. Bolo? What? Wouldn't be bolo. What the fuck is that? That's a fucking police term. I've heard them say well, it about me. Be on the lookout, Bolo. Those letters don't even match. No, man. Well, the the is silent. Be on the be on lookout. lookout. It be bottle. B O T L. You know what? I don't make up police lingo, okay? Mm -hmm. It's fucked. So you can't get mad at me. I agree, it is fucked. That's you know that's fucked up. The porch pirate guy was fucking. Check this idea. out, man. A woman goes into a bank with a dead guy in a wheelchair. And tries to take out a fucking loan with the dead guy saying he can't talk, he's sleeping. <laughs> he was dead. <laughs> Did, was she successful? No, man. She was she was trying to get out thirty two hundred bucks. In his name? In his name. And he was dead. Well, that's a weird fucking idea. She just said he's just quiet by nature. No? How come he smells like a rotten old fucking tuna? Mm -hmm. That's fucked up. So is this woman that in Vegas she posed as a dentist called herself the veneer experts and she fitted a patient with false braces and mouth, now her mouth is fucked and she got arrested and, and is getting sued so i guess remember we talked about trying to be dentists and opening up a little dental clinic i guess we better not do that depends on where you're at man really. I, I mean you could take out teeth and shit like that but we can't get we can't get into fucking braces who when are you gonna open i don't know about this I thought we talked about it. Yeah, we really when were about you going to be a dentist? You'd be Sam Lasko, for fuck's sakes. No, we got it. We stole a bunch of that shit that you had, that freezing shit. And what do you do with it? Unless you freeze somebody's no, mouth. No, we tried inhaling it. It's not great. It doesn't do anything, man. You got to inject it right in there. <laughs> You're going to like this story, Bubs. Did you hear about this rescue cat? His name was Thick and Nugget. Thick and nugget. Thick and nugget. I've never had that name on a cat. He's 30 before. pounds. It's so like, guess what? There, Tubby. <laughs> it's a big guy, man. You gotta go for water therapy. What? What? So they sent him to the, this water therapy thing that fucking helps cats and dogs lose weight. They swim. Oh. So at first he was kind of terrified, but now the fucker likes the water. Yeah. He's swimming and he's down to like 26 pounds. Nice. Nice going. It's a good kitty. He's gonna need a new name. It's a very Something. good kitty. Yeah, so you could open up a good water therapy place here, Bubs. I will. There he goes. I, can of, I see a lot of o overweight cats and dogs around here. I got a water therapy for kitties. You know what we could do? We could steal a dumpster, throw the little fuckers in there, fill it up with some water. Water therapy. Holy no. fuck, boys. I forgot it's fucking April the 19th. Tomorrow's the big one. What? The Christmas Day. Oh, four of us. 420. It's 420. Ah. Yeah. You're going to like this, buddy. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot about it. How'd, I got you, for, how'd you forget about that, Ricky? I didn't forget about it. But I've been do, I haven't been doing enough preparations. Boys, all these years of negotiations and all this shit that I do, and you guys say I don't do a fucking thing, check out this free fucking box of shit. <laughs> what the fuck is free? That? Free, boys. What the fuck is that? Well, Ricky, let me tell you. Let's start off with these. These are hemp fucking blunt tubes. Oh, man. I Taste these fucking are. tubes. I had these we're in on Vegas. Them. You can't get them in fucking This is Canada. orange. So are, are we? We're on the bus. We're on these. We're on them. These are Look insane. at that. Look at that. We got those. Jeez. All right, put that. We've got our hemp. The, the flavor on these is fucking incredible. Rookie, you can mix your joints with these if you want. This is hemp cigarettes, or you can try to get off the butts. Yeah. And gummies. Oh, my fuck. Green bastard. We got orangey gummies. We got rum and cola oh, gummies. Yes. Right now. 
a couple of these things in my mouth. Well done. Well done. Not only that, boys, the shit we throw in our drinks. And I'm going to do that right now. The drinking answer. The drinking answers. Check this shit. Now, this is a double dose, right? You got to remember that. Yeah, it's supposed to be only half that. You're going to be fucked. Well, so it, hopefully I will, yes. So you put that in there like that. Mix it up. So that's now 20, 20 milligrams of... Fuck yeah. THC. <laughs> that's good, man. And, man, this is going to be the best 420 ever. I'm telling you, this is why I wanted my fucking chips, buffs. We're going through, you went through, all through every fucking one of these. We're going through all of them. Gummies. That's my goal. Mm, tastes Jeez. like uh, cola. So how many gra- milligrams of those now? I don't know, 15? So you got 35 milligrams in you? Yeah, well, I'm gonna ask as soon as I'm Well, you got 15 milligrams, milligrams, <laughs> milligrams of CBD and... Uh, so it's good for you. Yeah, 15 milligrams of Delta 9 THC. This shit's good, man. Can't get wow. it in Canada, that's why they had to sneak it over. So me. when do we get paid? So that's all you gotta do is put it in a cooler and... No, oh, I, guess, I guess so. But the money thing will come. We got it out there. Did you get paid anything? Who gives a fuck about money? Look at this shit. Yeah, exactly. Well, we I give all... a fuck about it because I don't really ingest much of it. Well, maybe you should start. start. See, that's your name on it. I don't want you to miss it. You should be drinking it. Throw it in your fucking glass. Delta 9, blue raspberry. Drinking hands. It's He's fucking so good, man. Oh, God. I should be getting paid for that, shouldn't I? See that manure, boys? Nobody needs two hands. Oh, nice going, man. Look at that thing, oh, man. Look at this. It even comes with a little wooden ramrod, so you don't have to use your... Put that right in the eye of your cock if you want. Bups. Look at the glass filter with the little... Oh, it's a glass eyes. filter. That's that like, heavy-duty shit. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Don't choke yourself, death, Ricky. All right. Moving on. What do we have next? I, I just want to say thank you for making tomorrow going to be an extra special day. That's great. No problem, man. That's what I'm here for. Taking care of business, bubs. Oh, man, did you guys hear or see this fucking the former writer, Howard Stern writer? Mm-hmm. Elise Jordana. She posted this live stream on YouTube and got in a crazy fight with her boyfriend. But I guess it's all on video. She was hitting the fuck out of him or something. But it I was a real okay. one. It wasn't like that. find it. Wasn't a fake one? Was no. it a real fight? No, I guess not. But I can't find the fucking thing. The video won't load. Did she win? The fight? I don't know. I need to see it. That's what I'm saying. I thought maybe you guys could give me some fucking update here. Well, you're useless. Mm. Who's useless? Did you call this useless? All right. He's useless. He's useless. <laughs> Who is? I'm right. fucking very useful. Okay, Buffs. Did you ever hear of something called Body Integrity Identity Disorder? B-I-I-D. Bid, yeah. Did you ever hear of that? Bid. It's fucked up shit, man. Is it ever? There's a guy in Quebec. I don't understand. There's a guy in Quebec. He grew up. Well, first, he asked the doctor to remove his fourth and fifth fingers on his left hand because he felt like they didn't belong on his body. He went through his entire life fucking thinking, these two fingers actually left they don't belong on me. The, and he said, because of that, they eventually started burning and hurting all the time. So he's like, goes to the doctor, you got to remove the fucking thing. So like, you can't. So they went through all these psychological tests and shit. They were like, you know what? Maybe we should move his fucking fingers. They removed his fingers because he was going to cut them off. He worked at a sawmill. I was like, you know, I'm going to just cut the fuckers Jesus off. Jesus Christ. So he said to the doctors, like, no, 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 we should do this the right way. So they did it. Remove them, buddy. He's as happy as fuck now. No more nightmares, no more pains, nothing. You know what it is, I think? What? When you're getting reincarnated, something fucks up and there's someone else's fingers he had. So you believe in people getting reincarnated? No, but... Yeah, you did just said that. No, I don't, but I think if there was that, maybe he ended up somehow getting the devil, you know. What if he had Hitler's fingers? You know, then you're going to be like, fuck, these don't, those two fingers are evil. I don't think they should be on me. Snap. He might have had Hitler fingers. He may have, yeah, you're right, man. Did you guys see that fucking kid? He's like 10 years old that goes on talking about the universe and shit. 
on the, like the socials? No. It's fucking amazing, man. This kid, they they call him a, some. You ever hear of a star seed? It's something what you were just talking about. These kids are growing up and they know all this information, but they've never learned it. They just know it. This guy rambles on about the universe. Bob's like he could he could take you on on a one on one. In what way? Talk. Oh, okay. No, not. You know what I mean. <laughs> Fuck sakes. Look it up. I'll get, I'll send you the link, man. You can test that this guy. Out what he knows about planets? He knows about how the he said the planet. He said universe is endless and is being like it's it's growing at the speed of light. He yeah. said it's infinite, but he just go. It's just <laughs> fuck, Bubs. It's growing. His mother's at the speed like of light. Yeah, his he's like his mother's like I don't know how he knows this shit. He just knows shit. But there's a huh. bunch of kids like that that just know shit. And I've or when her. she was pregnant. Maybe she watched a lot of Discovery Channel. No, she could no, hear it. No, man, no. Maybe he was true. listening to Neil deGrasse Tyson when he was, you know. You know what they're saying? They're saying it could be something to do with reincarnation, that that ship could be real, and that, you know what I mean? Star seeds are what they call these, these kids. Star seeds. Yeah. Did you hear about this fucking comic? I forget where she was from, but she had ass injections. Whoa. No, that sounds worse than... Buttocks, in the ass or buttocks the butt? injections. Jeez. Yeah. What is that for? Make your ass rounder? Yeah. Give you a big badonkadonk. Well, the uh, the filler that was injected leaked, and then it solidified. Ooh. So she, I guess she was on a flight to Canada, actually, and all of a sudden her ass was, like, super hard. So she had Samantha. She had a flat ass. Well, anyway, she had to have three quarters of her fucking buttocks removed. Whoa. Ass amputation. Jesus Murphy. It's just like those guys that fucking inject their arms and shit. What the fuck is wrong with those do guys? Do you do that? No, Bob's fuck off. You've got oil in there. No, a I little bit. oil in there. You can tell, man. Their fucking arms are stretched out. How do you get the oil out of there? Don't they? You got to keep it in there, I guess. Unless, I don't know if you get an oil change. Go to Jiffy Lube. <laughs> Say, you know, give me an oil change. Why aren't we going to make... Can't be good for what was, not, We man. were going to make stuff, you know, and sell it. What was it? Muscle cleaner? Muscle polish? Muscle uh, lotion. No, it was... Muscle rub. No, it was muscle cleaner, wasn't it? <laughs> muscle cleaner and muscle polish. I'm not sure, man. We should get a whole set of Julian Muscle products. Bubs. We should! There's like Canadian some... Tire sold Julian's muscle muscle grease. All right, I mean, you know what? Grease. I'm in talks muscle with the company, grease. Bubs. What? For CBD muscle rub. I'm talking to them. No, I think like muscle polish. You sell it right with the car polish. Yeah, but why would you want to polish up your fucking muscles? Bro? Why do you do it? You polish don't yours. Don't fucking do it, People man. People put oil on them for the little Mr. Universe. Yeah, but that's fucked. You put oil on yourself Fuck when you're watching. That. No, I don't. <laughs> Jesus Christ, boys. You oil up when you're watching weightlifting on TV. I've seen you. Yeah, because I watch it all the time. Don't so me? you're just in a speedo oiled up for no reason? No, Bob's. No, that's not real. That's all I'm saying, there might be some money here with this fucking What muscle. type of muscle grease would somebody like, you know, Charles Atlas or Joe Weed or what would they I use? Know. I don't know what they use. You know, our, our laws are fucked, but it's not as fucked as in some places. Like this Russian influencer, she's going to get five years in prison for filming herself Tickling the breast of a war statue. Whoa. Why? Why is that five years in fucking prison? Well, say that again. This Russian influencer, she's going to get five years in prison for filming herself tickling the breast 